Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. It's time for our monthly haul video for the month of June. Um, I don't think you'll be getting anything more and if I do I'll kind of do a little follow-up mini haul. Um, right now uh, my budget is blown <laughs> and I'm paying a lot out in gas to get to several doctor's appointments but for the meantime let's get into the haul and see what kind of good stuff I got. I was kind of thrift store shopping, Dollar Tree, and then I ordered some stuff on Amazon so here we go. So first thing I picked up was this level. This will be for um, my mixed media stuff for when I work with resin. So this was actually really cheap at the Dollar Tree instead of paying five bucks some uh, roughly five dollars off of Amazon to get it shipped to me so I was super excited to get this so we'll get that out of the way I also went to wet paint and did some stuff picking up here so I wanted to try the Karen Dash pencil blender and full blender bright so uh, for my coloring pencils uh, I was I'm almost out of my Derwent blending so I thought I'd try this out. Um, I know a lot of people swear by this um, blender so we'll see what it has what in store. Um, also from wet paint I picked up some so a pan pastel soft knife so this one is the oval one and I already have the flat, so I've been, you know, slowly collecting these. Um, I have the Jane Davenport Pan Pastels, and now um, I'm also adding with regular Pan Pastels. I'll kind of bring it up here. And these are the actual tints for doing skin tone. So this is, got to be careful, don't want to break these things. These are expensive crazy so this is the red iron oxide tint this is the orange tint and this is the burnt sienna tint so I am slowly gonna start adding to my pan pastels um, I really like working with them in coloring books and using them for background ideas I have some mixed media pieces I want to use these on so I'm just kind of branching out on my different mediums and what I use. So I'm excited about that. So I also picked up another package of the Color of the World pencils skin tones. Um, my other set went down to my dad's and I needed a pack for here. So I picked these up at Walmart. So very inexpensive over here behind me so it's out of the way I also fall fell down the trap of washi tape so this one is feathers on it for my collaging and mixed media so uh, I can take it out of here because I don't know if you can see it very well but yeah it's like super freaking cute I also got this polka dot one, two, and this is uh, air an arrow. So I just happen to like the color and the design. I thought that was really cute. So yeah. So I got some washi tape so I can do some collaging with washi tape. I know it's very popular to use in collage. So I've been actually building up some supplies for all of that. Um, I actually have been changing my cart, one of my carts around to actually be all for collage. Like different collage supplies like washi, papers, um, bubble wrap. 
all that fun stuff. So I also picked up some stamp sets that I've been trying to find for a while. This particular one this must is the summer themed one. I thought that would be kind of fun to put a summer twist on some stuff or make even some artist postcards that I like to make and I like to use stamps to stamp on so I thought this would be fun. So then I also got the llama stamp um, which was super cute and it has some really cool sentiments like find your way, hello, dream, I love llamas. They're just really cute. I mean you can't pass that up for a dollar twenty-five for a stamp set. And then finally this last one I picked up it was all loved theme and sending mail and, and stuff so this would be good around Valentine's Day or just in the art journal. Uh, whatever. Card making. I'm not big into card making but I'm more into like the mixed media art journal so these are my themes. Um, I also grabbed some stickers from the Dollar Tree. These were actually really cool because they had um, things on them like believe you can and you are halfway there. Believe in yourself. Believe. Trust yourself. All things are possible if you believe. Believe in you. That's how you make your dreams come true and follow your dreams, believe in yourself, and don't give up. I thought this, these quotes were amazing. And just the color for art journal. This one has cherish every memory, love every moment, embrace every possibility, love and cherish, cherish the little things, cherish yesterday, live for today's dream, cherish and cherish the simple things and I cherish you. That was cute. And this one was really, don't lose hope. You never know what tomorrow may bring. Never lose hope. You are stronger than you think. There is always hope. All, in all things, it is better to hope than to despair. And pain is, pain is real, but also, but so is hope, not also. So yeah, I just thought these were good motivation stickers to use in the art journal on pages and things like that and just kind of remind ourselves that it's better to have hope than to live in the despair that we're go we're all going through from the pandemic so yeah I just thought those were really cute to get to add to the, the collection so next on the list um, some very fine touch detail brushes, so um, which will be good for some stuff. So yeah, my dad um, found these in an apartment that he was cleaning out and asked me if I would like them and I said absolutely. So good for doing the fine details of acrylic or watercolor. So. Next thing I grabbed were these trays. Um, I grabbed about six of them and I thought these would be a perfect size for putting in color pencils when I'm doing my videos. And instead of having a big tin on the table, then I've got these nice trays. They don't, then I know that my pencils are secure. They're not gonna be bouncing around um, and rolling off the table if I have them in the trays, so. Uh, that would be a great addition to the studio for organization. I also got some other stuff at the Dollar Tree. I got these raffle tickets to grunge up and to use them in collaging. So it's the first time I've seen those. So I thought this would be really fun to just kind of play around with. So I just grabbed like two packs. Um, Sorry for all that noise, but that's another fun thing to go in my um, paper drawers over here is like raffle tickets, stamps, 
things like that. And then I picked up this wide tooth comb to kind of use on my gel plate and to make some interesting effects with this. Um, so yeah, I hope this is, this is gonna be fun. So, and then I also added, picked up a couple more glue sticks. You're never gonna have enough glue sticks around in the studio for collaging, so. So I grab more of those. And uh, next I have two um, from Dollar Rowney. I have two sets. I have a sketching set that I picked up at Walmart um, that has pencils, uh, woodless graphite, and stick graphite. Um, to use. Um, this is actually for the drawing on the right side of your brain workbook. Um, a kneaded eraser. I love drawing with the woodless pencil. It's so much fun. And they come in these nice little kits. And then I also picked up the charcoal tin because it had two charcoal sticks which I needed and then it's got charcoal pencil and stuff in here. So Set those off to the side. Oh, the fun part. I got another color pencil set. I picked up these beauties. Um, these are the Faber-Castell um, Classic, I believe. Or, and they're 60 set. So I picked these up off of, no, it's just their premium color pencil colors. Excuse me. But I picked these up off of Amazon and stuff, so I'm going to put the box away and I can show you my... I put them in a tin already. These are a very hard lead pencil, very good for layering. So I thought I would try these out. This is kind of like their student grade um, pencils and stuff. And I had saw a review on another channel. Um, and here's the color swatches. And obviously you can see it took quite a while to get the pigment load like this because they are a harder pencil and they're more good, the best used in de fine details. And I just got this Nature Mandala book that is a lot of intricate details and I thought these would be perfect for that. So yeah. So get, the, get that on the side. Now on to the books. So the first book is this one. This is the actual workbook for drawing on the right side of the brain, which I am reading right now um, to expand. So it's a nice spiral bound book. I actually picked this up on eBay really cheap compared to what Amazon wanted. So it goes into drawing different drawing exercises to interact your brain to draw on certain things and to improve your skills um, and stuff like that. If you want a full flip or you want more information on it, please let me know. I can certainly um, I can uh, do that for you. So I am planning on doing a video series of of this, of me drawing through this workbook and improving drawing skills on for the mixed media side. So I am hoping, I'm excited about this. I'm I still have a few more supplies I have to get before I start this of uh, just um, drawing materials. So, but yeah, I hope that you will come alongside me as we learn together. For coloring books, it didn't get a lot because I've already bought a lot. So this first one is called Whatever is Lovely. This is my actually my first postcard book that I found at Goodwill. Um, and it's 24 inspirational cards to color and send. So we'll do So I thought this was actually really cool because they all have Bible verses. And I do write back and forth to a friend of mine from Bible College and 
we love to give each other verskas, and I thought this would be a fun way to send little notes. I really love this one, um, just because I love elephants, and they are such an amazing animal. Um, so yeah, I thought this would be a fun project. And plus two, I am starting a Happy Mail thing on the channel, so if you would like to receive Happy Mail from me, um, receive one of these beautiful postcards or ones that I have created myself. Uh, just a couple examples with my gel plate. Um, please email me your address and I will send you one as a way of a little pick-me-up. So I do these every month with another uh, in-person art group and I always make a few extra and then I kind of hold on to them and then I send them out as happy mail. So like I said I will put my ad email address down below and you can email me your address and I will send one out as a way of encouraging you. I just thought it would be fun. So I mean look at all this. I just thought that these are so cute. Uh, may we be sensitive to the way of our to the way of our words and land in the the way our words land in the hearts of others. Well, that's a quote by Emily P. Freeman. So, yeah. I know like Joanna Bassbird has postcard books. Hannah Carlson does, uh, Rita Berman does, so I definitely plan, I'm definitely putting a lot of them on my wish list because I think it would be fun. Oh, this one just brings me so much freaking, so much joy to uh, do an elephant. A shelter in the time of a storm. Oh. So yeah, those are. Uh, everything about this. And I actually found this in Goodwill. Which is really cool. In downtown St. Paul. They, I always seem to find the the best art books there. Coloring books. Now postcard books. Which I'm going to definitely be keeping my eye out for more. So. Yeah. The one who names the stars, calls you by the name, and calls you his. That's so true. I love the compass. Can't wait to do that one. He has made everything beautiful in his time. Yes, he has. God doesn't make any mistakes on us. So, this is kind of cool. Yeah, I actually got it really cheap. I mean, $5.99 when it retails for 12. So yeah, half the price. Whatever is lovely. Let's see. So the other one I picked up was Creative Haven Mexican Folk Art. Um, and the illustrator is Marty Noel, which I absolutely love her work. So I couldn't pass it up. And plus, my sister-in-law is part Mexican. And I thought this would be really cool to do some of the artwork in bright colors and actually have some fun. So I don't know if there's a whole lot of flip throughs of this on Amazon. I never looked. Or on YouTube, sorry, never I never looked. So I can just we'll just do a quick flip here. So if you want me to do a more in-depth, you know, just let me know. And I can try to film that for you. But yeah, just thought these were, I just love how her artwork, it's just, she's got some landscape and some portrait here.
This reminds me of Day of the Dead. But yeah, lots of birds and different patterns. The Sacred Heart. Little intimidating. This reminds me a lot of Kirby's work with these intricate patterns and stuff. But I think I can manage. I just thought it was so cool and it would be a fun way to honor her and part of her heritage. Um, oh, this is so cool, guys. I mean, this is what? What's not to love about this? So. And I do like the Creative Haven paper because they're um, a step up from Amazon printed paper. So it can take a little bit more of water-based mediums, but not much. But I prefer pencil or... And if I were to do markers with any of this, I would probably put it on marker paper. Scan and go from there. Because the lower GSM paper sucks up your ink and your alcohol markers um, because uh, it's just so thirsty. And it will bleed through. So. I don't know what these are, but they remind me a little bit of llamas, but I don't think they're llamas. I'll have to a lot of that up. Interesting patterns in this book. Oh, sorry. It's, this is actually a nice collection, nice book to add to the, my coloring book collection. I did de I did de stash a few. Um, and sent them as um, a, some of my coloring books as a gift to a friend who was struggling with her mental health and de-stashed some supplies just to let her try it out. This is fun. I like the mermaids. <laughs> oh, this is gorgeous. Can't wait to do this. But yeah. Oh. And then she gives a list of the plates. Awesome. That'd be good to look up all that. Cool. So this is Mexican folk art. So. And lastly, I found this bad boy at the thrift store. This is a Strathmore Vision Mixed Media 98 pound 160 GSM mixed media paper in 9 by 12. This is expensive to get on Amazon, well over 20 bucks. Let me show you. $3.99. All barely have been used. Um, sketchbook. Oh, well, I guess it has been used. But I guess the person was working on some dot patterns. Not my work. I didn't even look in this. Ah, cool. So, I don't think the whole sketchbook is used. No. So, this is like the last of it. Oh, I wish I knew whose work they were. I'm going to have to save it just to... Yeah, most of the sketchbook is completely full. I mean for $3.99 and this sketchbook alone is probably twenty some dollars at most on Amazon. So the nice thing is it's perforated. I can remove all of these out of here. So she must have been doing this for some sort of class. So yeah, so that is this. So, 
that's it. That's all I have for my haul. It's not very big and stuff. But now I get to put all this stuff away. And honestly, guys, friends, it's an amazing feeling because I've had him all stuff all over my studio for a couple weeks since I got it, since I did all my shopping and stuff. And now I get to put it away and use it. So much fun. Well, I look forward to seeing you on the next haul in the month of July and in future videos. I hope that you have a wonderful evening and remember to be brave, be authentic, and just be you and, and love everyone. I will see you all in the next video. Talk to you later. Bye!